we will discuss some key features of the Watson and Crick structure of DNA. The nucleotide components include sugar, phosphate, and nitrogenous bases. The ribose sugar is found in RNA or ribonucleic acid and has a hydroxy group on the 2' carbon. The deoxyribose sugar is found in DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid and doesn't have a hydroxy group on the 2' carbon. There are two types of nitrogenous bases, purines and pyrimidines. Adenine and guanine are purines and have two rings. Cytosine, thymine, and uracil are pyrimidines and have one ring. Thymine is present in DNA, while uracil is present in RNA. In the DNA helix, adenine pairs with thymine using two hydrogen bonds, while guanine pairs with cytosine using three hydrogen bonds. As you can see, the partially positive hydrogen is attracted to the partially negative oxygen or nitrogen in a hydrogen bond. When we put it all together, we have a nucleotide. The one prime carbon of the sugar attaches to the base. The five prime carbon has the phosphate group and the three prime carbon bonds to the next five prime phosphate of the next nucleotide. Now let's see how the nucleotides polymerize. The sugar and the phosphate form the backbone. A phosphodiester bond forms when the three prime end of one nucleotide bonds with the five prime end of the next one. The DNA strands are antiparallel since one strand runs from five prime to three prime in one direction and then the other strand runs from five prime to three prime in the other direction. Base pairs stack on top of each other to maximize hydrophobic interactions which stabilize the double helix. In the double helix, major groove occurs where the backbones are further apart and the minor groove occurs where the backbones are closer together. The Watson and Crick model is BDNA which is right-handed. You can tell it is right-handed because the sugar phosphate backbone closest to you looks like it is climbing up in the right direction. You can also use the fingers of your right hand to see how they curl up in the direction of the backbone. Let's look at some examples of left-handed DNA. This table shows left-handed DNA. The fingers in your left hand will curl in the direction of the backbone. The backbone closest to you on this table lamp climbs up in the left direction. The DNA necklace is also climbing up in the left direction. And so is this DNA. In this image, the backbone which seems to be closest to you is climbing up in the le left direction.